in this problem, we're going to solve this, which is appear in the year 2016 GE advanced day. So here it is given that n is the smallest positive integer so start. The coefficient of x squared in this expansion that 1 plus x squared, 1 plus x whole cube and so on, right, is given as 3n plus 1, 51c3. Now we have to find, right, that value of n, okay, so, uh, value of n, right, so that, right, this is satisfied, okay. So basically we need to find that uh, condition of uh, smallest n and for that smallest n, uh, smallest n, sorry, what is the value of n, okay, that's it. Let's go ahead. So first we consider the expansion and here we need to find the coefficient of x squared. So what is the coefficient of x squared in fx, right? The coefficient of x squared in fx will be the coefficient of x squared in the first step, uh, 1 plus x whole squared, 1 plus x whole cube and all those terms separately and then we need to add in them together. We know that, right? Then coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 1 plus x whole squared will be equal to, right? Using that identity, that coefficient of x to the power r of 1 plus x whole to the power n is in CR. So therefore here n is equal to 2 and uh, it's 2. Uh, so in C2. Okay. So 2C2. So therefore it's 2C2. Similarly for one x square coefficient of x square in 1 plus x whole cube will be 3C2. And if we go ahead, the coefficient of uh, x squared in 1 plus x whole to the power 49 is 49 c2 and 1 plus mx whole to the power 50 is 50 c2, but m squared. Why? Because here, right, our term of that x value is mx. So therefore, we need to find that mx whole square term we need to find out. Okay, that's it. Now, if we add all of them together, so then only we get the coefficient of x squared, which will be equal to the summation of starting from 2c2 to 50c2. Okay, that's it. Now, we need to find this summation values only. Okay, let's go ahead. So, uh, we just write down the pattern. We can observe the pattern. It will be 2C2, 3C3, 2, and therefore 4C2, 5C2, and so on and so forth. So, we just add few more terms, right? Because uh, to find this, uh, this summation problem, if we add more terms, right, understanding the problem must be easier, right? So, now, here, we first consider these two terms, right? 2C2 and 3C3, uh, 3C2, right? So, that we take separately and try to find the value. So to find this value, we need to use this identity that is NCR and NCR minus 1 is equal to N plus 1 CR. So notice that uh, in the left hand side, we both side, both cases we have N, but here we don't have it. But we can easily change 2C2 as 1 and 1 is equal to 3C3. So therefore, this term can be written as, as 3C3 plus 3C2. Now here, if I choose n equal to n and r equal to 3, the sum of these two terms gives me as 4c3. Similarly, right, if we add both sides, the next term, that is 4c2, right, both sides, it will give us that 4c3 plus 4c2. Again, if I use the same identity that n equal to 4 and r equal to 3, it will be equivalent to 5c3. So that's it. Now, if we add one more term again that both sides, 5C2 in both sides, it will give me obviously 5C3 and 5C2, which gives me as 6C3. That's it. So therefore, by observing the pattern, we can see that if we add only the four terms or that fields up to five, right, we have to add one and one in the two places. So therefore, if I add up to 49, right, it will give me 50. And if I add one, it will be three. So therefore, sum of first uh, few terms will give me that 50 C3. So therefore, our uh, coefficient of x squared will be equal to 50 C3 plus 50 C2 M squared. So now we have to find this summation only. Okay, let's go ahead. The coefficient of x squared is already provided here, 3n plus 1, 51c3. So therefore, we can easily say 50c3 and 50c2m squared is equal to 3n plus 1, 51c3. So from here, we need to find out the relation between m and n. But how we proceed, right? So do so, right? First, we need to uh, change, right, or we have to use the definition of NCR to eliminate or to find the relation between them. So let's apply the definition here. Now, when we apply that, we can see that 
from the uh, numerator 50 can be cancelled if I rewrite 51 as right 50 into 51 into factorial 50. So let's write down in that particular form. So now 50 get cancelled from both the, all the sides right. Now we have 48. So now we can multiply both sides by factorial 48. So therefore we get it as 48 by 47, 40, 40. So this cancel and 3 into 151. Now uh, this 41 can be written as, as 48 into 47, factorial 3 and factorial 3 get cancelled out, uh, 48, 48 cancelled out and 3 factorial 3 by 2. So 3, 3 into factorial 2 divided by 2. So we can easily cancel out the appropriate position, right? So therefore we get at the end 48 plus m squared is e, 3 m squared is equal to 3 n plus 1. 51, right so now see that we are able to get right the relationship easy relationship between m and n now we need to find m square value let's go ahead so if i use that so 3m square is equal to 3 into 51 n and multiply but see that everywhere we get can divide by 3 so let's divide both sides by 3 and then we can say that m squared is equal to 51 n plus 1 right that's it so therefore we understand this value okay so now what is asked it is asked that that we need to find the smallest positive integer value of n okay such that m squared will be 51 n plus 1 so therefore we have to choose n okay uh, the n value in such a way right that 51 n plus 1 is the a perfect square and that value is minimum so we have to start with the trial and error method so we take n equal to 1 so if we take n equal to 1 m squared will be 52 n equal to 2 it will be 103 n equal to 3 which are substitute and get 154 so these are not perfect square right and n equal to 5 we get 256 and it's a perfect square so therefore if the minimum value or the smallest value of n is equal to 60 right so therefore n is equal to 16 and this is the least value of n and this is occurred at n equal to 5 so therefore the correct option or correct answer for this particular problem is that the n will be smallest and satisfying the given conditions right for that n equal to 5 and that's it hope you understood the problem thank you